Hey guys, how's it going? It's Hassan here from Hashtag, and today I'm bringing you a review of the Norma Note 7 ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S5. Yes, finally, a ROM for the S5. So, without any further ado, let's get right into it. So, guys, first off, let's see the general layout and the app style. Now, the general layout is reminiscent of the Note 7, and the app opening and closing animation is similar to the Note 7's and obviously all the apps inside are from the Note 7. The camera is from the S7 though and it works fine as long as you don't mess with the features that aren't supported such as the Pro Mode and if you try that the app will crash. The folder style is from the Note 7 as well and the general transitions and the layout and the, as you can see the music app is from the Note 7 and the UI does look really nice and the ROM is generally really really snappy it's a really fast ROM it doesn't really lag except for the flipboard page that I'm gonna show you over here so as you can see that is absolutely terrible that is like the, the worst thing ever and obviously you do have the notification panel from the Note 7 and it also has a little graphical lag. Now the ROM runs on the Android version 6.0.1 Marshmallow. So I guess that is a really good thing. Now getting into the battery life and the special features. The battery life is excellent and you have the power saving mode and yes you can change the resolution of the screen just like in the Note 7 you have your multi window in the special features and the recent apps look really really nice and you have the edge screen as well as you can see over here and swiping through it is a breeze and you can obviously use all the features now you also have the S Pen features over here so the S Pen air command does actually work with all the features working even the smart select and the GIF animation thingy is also working so you can capture GIFs and also the other options are working as well now other than that you do have the S Note app and obviously the Samsung Notes app this is what the QWERTY keyboard looks like of course and the app icons obviously the new one because this is the port now getting into the bugs and there are quite a few of them the first one is Wi-Fi now I don't know about you but I can't live without internet so this is a bummer also auto brightness and NFC doesn't work and the worst of all if you set a pattern or a pin as your lock you'll get permanently locked out and then you basically can't use the ROM so these suck but yeah that's that's pretty much it But considering the huge bug it has, I would not recommend it. Like you can get logged out of your phone or just not be able to use Wi-Fi. So those are huge things. Also NFC doesn't work, but that's not such a huge deal for me. But the other two are. But yeah, guys, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace and I5.